coming up on the first pitch. And on the mound in this one, Zach Eflin. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work, and guys look up. It's deep into the ball game, and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy. So off look for him to do the same thing today. The maybe go the distance. Season. Maybe Andy hand it over to the bullpen at the Ibanez. end and try to get that W. Now a chance for Andy Abanez. Trying nope. to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Late that time, it's strike two. One this guy at the three. dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Leaves a defender for the strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games, he wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And oh. so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. One down, base is empty. Line drive, caught! Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. This team, Chris, not one that gets a lot of production from hitting homers, so they've got to find offense in other ways. Yeah, Boog, hit sequencing is so important for this team. You know, getting that walk at the right time, coming up with that next knock or extra base hit so that you can actually play to run. If not, then you see the record go in the direct opposite direction of where it could go. So, you know, a team like this, the good thing, they're going to battle. They're going to put the ball in play and hope that they can find those holes. Two out spaces empty. That one finds the corner. And that is strike two. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to and keep it fair. Three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back now at Oriole Park. Our starting pitcher in this one, Casey Mines. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the Leading comforts off. of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Late swing fouled off. Next offering is downstairs. And another ball. And here it comes. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more that fastballs that in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Adley Rutschman looking for his first big league hit right here. Fastball for a strike. Swing and a liner foul off to the right.
that Ball. just misses. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. On the ground, right side, Keith. Rutschman retired. Batting third. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. An offense that knows how to mash, Chris. Lots of power throughout the lineup. They're leading the league in homers right now. Yeah, and I think when you're facing a team like this, pitchers coming in, they see the stats. They end up trying to nibble, trying to work on the edges, trying to expand the zone. And so I think the key, if these hitters can stay within themselves, obviously right. they have the ability to hit the ball a long way and score runs quickly. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Two outs. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you... Oh, that's a strikeout. And that'll do it for the inning. Orioles held in check there. Scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Justin Henry Malloy. Here the right hitter back to work. Malloy. It is rookie season, 24 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick in 2021. Missed inside with the curve. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. That one no. close, oh. ruled a ball. Yeah, that's ball two. No one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And up next for Detroit, Colt Heath. Pitches That's in the, the dirt. And that is ball one. One out, base is empty. Clips a corner. One ball, one strike. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Colt Heath with his first major it. league hit. First and this is a moment I'm sure he'll you. never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Runner on at first with one gone. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Right through there for a strike. Keith, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a pitch. And that no, misses that off the outside ball. edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hey! And looking for the king. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, Trey Sweeney. That one off the mark, and it's one to know. He deals. And it's fouled away. Eflin a move to first. Hey, he's and he's there. back in safely. Hey. 
two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Detroit. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the switch inning power threat. Anthony Santander. A sort of your typical power hitter. Wouldn't necessarily call him a three true outcome guy, but he's in there to hit home runs. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Fans dig the long ball, bro. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Anthony Santander with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Aloy Jimenez now. There's a strike. And he deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. comes a pitch ground ball right side could be two key to second on the first double play sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. right there really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off so two down now and here is Emmanuel Rivera in for a strike and it's 0-1 Two down, nobody on. Bell finds the corner. That's strike two. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because oh, you'll have high. a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And a 1-2. Wouldn't oh, chase that right. time. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Dylan Dingler. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That's and that ball. one's a little bit low. Yeah, that's ball one. And that's another ball. ball. Two and out. Oh. Headed towards the corner. And it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Dylan Dingle with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, 
can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. Fought off foul. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And delivers no, outside. Two, two. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. And it's second. Still two and two after the foul ball. Top of the third, no score. Right side. Toss to Slater and one away at the top of the third. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Andy Abanez will hit next. Right through there for a strike. Dingler stands at third with one gone to the inning. To the right side, Rivera. Over to first, and the first run of the game comes across. The bat, the right hand. Now the number two hitter, Matt Veerling. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Just nope. missed. Oh. Pop foul out of play off to the right. That one Two missed. One. Fouls one off. Two and two. Oh. And this is inside. He should get a pretty oh, yeah. good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's won. Smoked on the ground a second. Out for oh. three. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The wind of the pitch. That clips the corner. Off the mark there. Ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul straight back. That's down and in, a slider missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Not down close with that one, and it's three and two.
in the air left field has a beat on it nabs it and there's one down batting it the designated hitter Kobe. now it's the rookie DH Kobe Mayo in there for strike one home team down a run here in the last half of the third pitch misses oh. there and one and one the one one is fouled off Next Ball, offering upstairs. Up. Now this is in the air down the line. Deerlin makes the grab for the second out. Batting up. The third baseman. Levon. And into the box for Baltimore. Levon Soto. And there's no, that a ball. Missed. That's a ball. Next Two offering top. is in for a strike. One and one. Keeps the inning alive. Levon Soto with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Austin Slater stands in. Mize moves to first. Soto back in on a dive. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. stays alive. The O2. One and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. He goes down looking. One hit, one left. On to inning number four. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth, and now the DH, Riley Green. Eflin back to work. Gets the outside corner with that one. Next that pitch missed. is downstairs. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. 
You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Boy, that it with one down takes a strike. One down, base is empty. That misses, oh. and the count is one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Nice. Swings and misses. Two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the now ball the other way, base, but that time, Cole. a little anxious. Key. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Keith. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Fouled off to the right. The pitch. Out to short. Henderson over to first in time. And the Tigers retired one, two, three. Three up, three down that time. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. Bottom of the fourth. Now the Orioles, the Orioles catcher, Orioles. Adley Rutschman. The catcher, Adley Rutschman. The pitch. That catches the corner. Oh, one. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall, and he's got it. And now, Gunnar Henderson. This to third. Throws the first in time. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Now back, right fielder, Anthony. Anthony Santander at the plate. And he's already singled in this game. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where hitters hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? Wanda Torkelson and the Orioles set down in order. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. Back now at Oriole Park. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Spencer Torkelson. Eflin back to work. On the ground at first. A flip to the pitcher That's covering that. one away here in the fifth in an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information so what we're seeing in baseball so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines in the air out towards right center it gets down a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single Trey Sweeney with his first no, no, no. major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One down. And next to hit for Detroit, Dylan Dingler doubled his first time up. 
That's in for a strike. Dingler, 25 years old, and he was a second-round pick in 2020. Sweeney stands at first with one out. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Here's a one-two. Here's a speed threat. Outfielder Parker Meadows. Meadows. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Runner on the go. Pitches oh, low. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And we're back. Leading Here's Eloy Jimenez. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. First nope. pitch misses. Oh. And another ball. He hasn't wanted to challenge it. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Kicks and deals. And now it's even up. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And the next pitch is way outside. Got on this three ball count. Down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Hit in the air, center field. Meadows sizes this one up, calls it in, and there's one away. Now that second baseman, So up next, Emmanuel Rivera. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there at the knees. Center for a base hit. Emmanuel yeah, Rivera yeah. with his first, first major, major league, league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy worked so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Cedric Mullins getting ready to hit. Fly to left his first time. And fouled off. fouled off tying run is at first last half of inning number five this one popped up Devonez moving under this one pulls it down and he makes the catch and there's two away up next is Jordan the designated hitter Kobe. and next is the designated hitter Kobe Mayo flied to right his first time That's in there. Going on. Yeah. 
right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Wouldn't chase One, that time. Chop to third. Devonez gathers nope. and throws to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. Back here in Baltimore, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Parker Meadows. The line to kick the pitch. Just missed. One and up. That clips a corner. And the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And another ball. Ripped on the ground a second. Tosses oh. to first. One up, one down. Now got it. Third base. Andy Ibarra. So the batting order turns over. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Andy Abanez. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. That right. one finds the zone. Strike one. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? No For me, it was just pulling strike. into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or ball. a pat on the back, regardless of how things one were ball, going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great ball place ball. to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. High fly ball down the left field line. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw to second is offline. Andy Abanez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. That clips the corner. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. pitch strike two left field Jimenez on the move makes a nice running catch Runner tags it second now he launches a throw over his head now that designated hit Here's Riley Green. That right, one go. finds the zone, and it's all along. He's got a oh, rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. 
It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. Well, we go bottom six and into the box for Baltimore. Levon Soto. Levon. The pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Torkelson drifts towards it, tries to make the play, but it's foul. That one, one in the one. dirt, one and one. And that's Two downstairs and, and outside. Next offering in there for a strike. It's two and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Austin Slater to bat next. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The bat. The first base Austin. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Austin Slater, the next to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a foul ball. That went back up the middle and it gets through. Austin Slater with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming boy. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here one gone runner at first Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Your ball's one strike. Ball one That's there. Going to lay off that pitch down. Runner takes off, swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And the pitch. That no, one just hit. misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And oh, another God. ball. Gunnar Henderson next to bat for Baltimore. a 3-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. You're always having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Two payoff pitch stays alive. Righty delivers, and he walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running That's short. Cool. He's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. 
That's outside. Oh. And that what is else? ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The shortstop the takes the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That misses. And now 3 0. Movement in the bullpen. Will Vest getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Number 73, a left hander, also throwing. Brio down. And there's the automatic. And that'll load the bases. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. He almost kept it in first base with the quick right pass. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Golden opportunity right here. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Ball. Outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Close, no, but call the ball. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Oh. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Justin Henry Malloy. Justin Henry Malloy. The wind and the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, the right hander deals. Malloy checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. That's a strikeout. Woody Keller says he won a round. Colt Keith now up now for the Tigers. One for two. Hmm. Fastball for a strike. Going one. No ball. One strike. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Mullins falls it in two away. Now bad. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And downstairs. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One and two, the count.
popped up foul territory behind the play. Rutschman makes the catch in a goal. Tigers fail to make any noise, but they lead it one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. And the right hater back to work. That one missed ball, by a lot. Right. And that's ball one. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprise you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth right. inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. And another oh. ball. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Tapped out in front of the plate. Throw on to hey. Torkelson. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, those plays can be the tricky. Team. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Emmanuel Rivera, the next to hit for the Orioles. Just oh, missed. Hi. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. There's a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's got to head the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70%. Myers across the diamond and they get Mullins for the out. Play made, that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. They turn things over to the southpaw, Gregory Soto. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major now, league debut. You. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little Gregory. nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Well, one run game. Trey Sweeney up now for the Tigers. And here it comes. Uh -uh. Inside oh. just missed. Soto goes six foot one, 29 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. That oh. one missed. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Jacob Webb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Dominguez, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And now the lefty. That one fouled off 2 and 2. The pitch. And another ball. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Soto settles under it. And there's one down. Now, uh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Dylan Dingler. That's ball for a strike. Well, Siggy here in Baltimore and uh, crab cakes. We need to get our hands on some crab cakes. You think we'll get someone to maybe run down for us and, and grab a few? Absolutely. It's got to happen. Maryland crab cakes, the best. And talk about the seasoning. Nobody does it better than the people here in the city of Baltimore. But even so, here at the ballpark, some great food. One down, base is empty. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off 
the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike One zone. Out. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. The 1 0. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. Yeah, and I'm kind of partial to my guy Boo down there over that right field wall and uh, some barbecue because Boo can fire up some pretty good barbecue. Yeah, and I'm surprised we haven't seen any of that yet up here in the booth. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Shelby Miller. He has now, a now, great now, slider now, with tons of movement. Number seven, Shelby Miller. Now, here's the Orioles' DH. Kobe Mayo, corner the infielders guarding the lines, Kobe. trying to prevent extra bases. Mayo. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Tigers bullpen with some action. Jason Foley getting loose for A.J. Hinch. And a pitch. That's the ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Right-hander kicks deals. Wouldn't Two chase that time. Uh, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner eight. really makes this Three inning ball. a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Levon Soto, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a tap where the rolls foul. Badly with that 0-2 fastball, hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. A 1-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And there's a base hit, and that puts the tying run on base. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Austin Slater, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for three. That's yeah. in there, and that is strike one. Here comes a pitch. Fall off foul. Right into the play. Not one even two. close there. And the count one and two. Holding on to a one run lead near the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Rutschman up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. And it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. Save. No, he he beats it. it. Adley Rutschman with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here on the pitch here. All they need from him right here is one out. Well, yeah, that's easier said score. than done for sure. Number Lots eight, of pressure with two runners in scoring eight. position. He eight, does eight. have the one open base to work with if needed. So two down and into the box for Baltimore. Gunnar Henderson. Now pop up on the infield. Devonez gets there. He's under it. Brings it in, and that ends the inning. Orioles strand a couple. They're down one nothing. We're now back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jacob Webb. Jacob. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality yeah. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Andy Abanez. Known for his late inning heroics. And he deals. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And that's outside. And oh, another ball. High. Misses that inside. Missed Three and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. 3 1 is on the way. Foul ball. And that's ball, ball four. four. Runner, take your base. Leading off of the Tiger. And the now right the right fielder, fielder Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling. First offering. Runner goes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. the zone and it's on two. Well that's really the money spot down and away if you can locate that consistently it's going to be real tall for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next offering oh. misses down and away. Meanwhile one, two. activity in the bullpen. Yenier Cano is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Chases that one out of the zone. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when 
With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Next to the plate is the Tigers DH, Riley Green. Last ball for a strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Owen oh two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's the O2. And nope. ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much no, outside two. plate coverage. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Malloy no, in the box means, here the lets that one go for a ball. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and now, one. That's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to. Next offer in there for a strike. It's a ball and one two ball strikes. Two strikes. Two outs. Good job to fight that one off. And the righty deals. Cuts he on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Tigers one and the Orioles nothing. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jason Foley. A chance at his first save of the year. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Bottom nine. That's the ball. And that one missing low. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the pitch. That's, That's off the ball. mark. And now three and two. Full count. At the belt and fires. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to first gets him easily. 
And that's the first out. That's a big first out right there, and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Jimenez at the plate now, and that's inside. He was looking for some firewood right there. I tell you what, if you're not out in front swing at that pitch, you'll be looking for a new bat. Righty delivers. Tapped in front of the plate. And that one handled. And the Orioles gather their final out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Here's the second baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. That one way outside. And that's ball one. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. On the first. Ball game. And the Tigers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Mize with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.